Hey everybody, it's that college football guy here in another video. Yeah, I'm here in the truck. I'm in um where am I? I'm at a little spot here in Hebron, Ohio to uh rest up for the night and I gotta head to Somerset, Pennsylvania in the morning. Um, but as you saw the title of the video, it's the schedule preview time, going back to it again. Now we're talking to Maryland. The 2023 schedule previews. Now, as these previews go, if you didn't watch any of the other ones. I preview who the preview the non-conference games last year versus this year, which is tougher. And then I do a whole schedule rundown of last year, scores included. And then I do a rundown of this year's complete schedule. And we decide, is last year's schedule tougher or is this year's schedule tougher? You know, and that all depends on which one's home, which one's away, long road trips. This guy that flies right by me and tries to hit me. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, so that's how that's going to go here. Okay, truck stops. What happens? All right, first off, non-cons. The Big Ten has three non-conference games on their schedule. Last year's schedule was home against Buffalo, at Charlotte, and then home against SMU. So three group of fives was last year's non-conference schedule. This year, they're home against Towson, home against Charlotte, home against Virginia. So it's one Power Five, one Group of Five, one FCS. Now, last year, there were three F Group of Fives, but one of them was on the road, at least. All three of these are at home. So, stack of competition. Um, playing Charlotte again. So it's Buffalo and Towson, SMU and Virginia. I might like to call this a wash, because... Virginia, after what the shooting is going to be, the, the, the tragedy that happened on campus, are they going to be going? This is going to be the third game of the season. How well are they going to be mentally ready for this? So this is Towson also. So we'll look at that. But let's do a review right now of the entire 2022 season for Maryland. And let's see what happens here. Because they, had, they finished the season 8-5. and five. So home against Buffalo to start the year, they won 31-10. At Charlotte, they won 56-21. Impressive win. Home against SMU. Won 34 to 27. That's interesting. Um, Sunny Dyke's former school. At Michigan, lost 34 to 27. It's only a seven point loss at the big house, so that's not bad. Home against Michigan State, they won 27 to 13. Then they went home against Purdue, lost 31 to 29. Well, that's the, the Western Division champion, so it kind of makes sense how that happened. At Indiana, 138-33. Home against Northwestern, 131-24. Close games, but still wins. Then they had their bye week. Then the problems hit. These three games in a row. At Wisconsin, lost 23-10. At Penn State, lost 30-0. Home against Ohio State, lost 43-30. And they were home against Rutgers and won 37-0 to right the ship. They went into the to bowl season. They went into the Duke's Mayo Bowl. Not making it up. The Duke's Mayo Bowl against NC State. And they won 16-12 to in a low-scoring game. So, you look at the schedule last year. Their key games for Maryland is Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State. They went 1-3 in those games. And they were two at home, two away. They won one of the two home games. They were playing Ohio State in the home and got beat. Now, this year's schedule... Home against Towson, home against Charlotte, home against Virginia. Then they're at Michigan State, home against Indiana, at Ohio State, home against Illinois. Then they get the bye week. Then they're at Northwestern, home against Penn State, at Nebraska, home against Michigan, and then at Rutgers to finish the year. Um... You beat Michigan State because you were at home last year. 27-13 is a good win. They, they actually got some good wins on there. Actually, it was more of that. They played Michigan close. Uh, they lost to Purdue. That was close, but that's a different staff now. Uh, Penn State, they got blown out. Shut out 30 nothing. They got blown out by Ohio State. So you played Michigan close last year. You're, they were on the road last year. Now they got them at home, but they're at the end of the year in the Ohio State slot. You play Ohio State at the shoe on the road this year. Now, the swap out of the conference games, if you look at this here, you swapped out Purdue for Illinois, 
and he swiped out Wisconsin for Nebraska. Two teams that have two new head coaches this year, Wisconsin and Nebraska. Illinois has been doing rather good. That defense is serious. So you look at this. Indiana's not exactly a great team. You lose Wisconsin. They were on a losing run last year. Now you got Nebraska, who's one of the worst teams, but they got a new staff. <laughs> and you got Illinois, who's serious defense. So you look at this, you look like at Michigan, home against Michigan State, home against Ohio State, at Penn State. You've got Penn State at home this year after they shut you out 30 to nothing. You got Michigan at home this year after you barely lost 34 to 27. But you're at Ohio State. You're at Michigan State. You got Illinois at home. You got Nebraska on the road. You got Rutgers on the road. Even a lot of the key games they have for them, I mean, like the Michigan State, Ohio State. Penn State, Michigan, same thing. Two at home, two on the road. And Illinois is at home. They have more home games. Plus, they got Virginia. Is this schedule tougher? I mean, you're two and two of the Michigan State Ohio State game. You got you played Michigan close last year. Now you got them at home this year, but it's next to last game of the year, so injuries may come into a concern. Rutgers is Rutgers. I'm not worried about that. And this is not a schedule prediction video, folks. This is just me running through the schedule, looking to see what's harder, what's easier. And Illinois at home is big. Is Illinois on the road? I don't know how well they do down Champaign because that's that's going to be tough. Indiana at home, you you beat them on the road last year. Now you got them at home. You beat Michigan State at home last year. Now you got them on the road. You played Michigan close on the road. Now you got them at home. Ohio State and Penn State beat the brakes off of you. That's probably going to keep going. Penn State was on the road. Ohio State, you played them tough at home. Now you got Penn State at home. Could play them tough, but Ohio State on the road? Yikes, that's not, I don't know. Nebraska, we'll see what Nebraska is about that time of the year. So we're talking week, that's going to be week 13 is the Rutgers game. So we're talking week 11. 10 games into the schedule. We'll know what's going on at that point. Is it tougher? I'm I'm kind of can't really decide here because it's kind of like it's even. I mean, like the four key games is the same situation they're going to have. They're going to have a tough time winning one of these winning two of these games. They could beat Michigan State again. Mel Tucker, would Mel Tuck if Mel Tucker has another bad year like he had this year, he could be on the hot seat and out. Um as for Illinois, I mean, is this season tougher? I'm, I'm, I'm really legitimately torn. I don't know. Because you have all the games here. If you take one of the games out of the schedule, they get to give, give, a, give you a fifth game that was worth something as Purdue last year, and they won, lost that game at home. So you count that as your fifth toughest game. They, have, they went one and four in their key games, and three of them were at home. They only won a home game. Now, if you look at the key games again this year, you've got Michigan State, Ohio State, Penn State, Michigan, and Illinois. Three of the five are at home again, just like last year. Are they able to win two of those? We're talking. Can they beat Indiana? Yes. Can they beat Virginia? Well, they should. Towson State, Charlotte. They blew out Charlotte. They should, they should do that, that one. Nebraska could be the dark horse game. But I really don't know. So you let me know down in the comments. Do you think last year's schedule was tougher? Or do you think this year's schedule was tougher? Like, let me re do a re quick recap so everybody know. Last year, I mean, the non-cons, we're not going to... Buffalo, Charlotte, SMU, Michigan, Michigan State, Purdue, Indiana, Northwestern, Wisconsin, Penn State, Ohio State, Rutgers. This year, Towson, Charlotte, Virginia, Michigan State, Indiana, Ohio State, Illinois, Northwestern, Penn State, Nebraska, Michigan, Rutgers. I'm kind of like halfway because it's like the group of fives is better, but the, the conference schedule because of home games, I don't know. So you let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this? So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Sorry if I was rambling in this one. Um, if you haven't done it already, please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. helps me see by more people, video to be seen by more people comment on the video what do you think about this last year a non-conference schedule is last year's tougher or is this year's tougher an overall schedule is last year's tougher or this year's tougher 
I'd say last year's non-conference, this year's non-conference with Virginia is tougher, and the schedule, I'll say the schedule this year is tougher. But it's kind of, I'm kind of torn on it. It's really on the fence. And, and then let me know that down in the comments. And subscribe to the channel. On our way to 400 subscribers, slowly but surely crawling the way to 1K, and that's when the fun really begins. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. <sighs> I got to relax here a little bit and get something to eat and then try to get some rest. I'm going to be out of here before 5 in the morning. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Be safe out there, and please be good to each other.